The manufacturing of yarn starts with the transfer of the cotton bales, chosen by a special software from the warehouse to the feeder of the blowing room, which is the starting point of the yarn spinning hall. From this point onwards, the cotton undergoes many processes, such as cleaning, opening and blending with the contents of other bales. It is during this process that fibres which are too short are extracted. The cotton fibres are then subjected to a carding operation that ensures that the fibres are parallel to each other. At the same time, a vigorous and detailed cleaning of the material to be used in the yarn production is carried out in order to ready it for the next phase of manufacturing. As a result of these operations, the cotton fibres are transformed from the compressed randomly mixed material containing impurities to the sliver, which have been neatly stacked into cans, ready for the following processes. In the drawing frame process, the sliver from different carding machines are joined to form a homogeneous mix and the parallelism of the fibres is further enhanced. The hook ends that are a part of the fibres nature are straightened out and the fibres are further lengthened. In order to monitor the weight per unit length of the produced sliver under control, highly developed electronic regulation systems are utilised. The sliver from the drawing frame operation with uniform mass per unit length are further drawn out by the roving frame operation which is next in line. They are then wound onto tubes that can be used on the yarn machines. The roving is the final step before yarn is produced. After this operation, the rovings are subjected to a further drawing out operation on the ring machines and are further thinned out to the final required yarn thickness. During this operation, the yarn gravity is subjected to a twist in order to give it the required durability. The ring machine determines the surface structure and the physical attributes of the yarn being produced. Due to the yarn production systems that can also produce effects, the yarns can be given the effect that will determine the final visual appearance of the fabric. It is worth noting that all the yarn production machines at Orta have the ability to create effects in the yarns. Fabrics with the comfort feature are produced by Orta by means of cotton-coated elastane core yarns and special hardware mounted on the ring machines. The last phase of yarn production is the winding process. Here the cops produced by the ring machines are spliced to each other and transformed into a bobbin format of specific length. This splicing process is very important from the point of view of the productivity of subsequent phases where the bobbins will be used and the final appearance of the fabric. During the winding process, the yarns are monitored every millimetre of the way by high technology sensors on the bobbin machines and faulty areas that may affect the texture of the fabric are eliminated. Ball warping from the point of view of colour quality and authentic appearance is preliminary preparation for the rope dyeing system which is the preferred system of denim production. 
The yarns that will be used in the warping of the fabric are stacked in the ball warping machines, creel section, and are all brought to the front of the machine to be transformed into rope. The rope thus produced is then wound onto cylindrical shafts ready to be dyed in the indigo machine.